Welcome to the Secret Garden of Survival, and um, we are going to talk about Osage Orange. Some people call it Osage Orange, Osage Orange. Uh, in any case, it is a, uh, a thorny bush that um, the early settlers actually used instead of barbed wire. And you can see it has some mighty, um, mighty big spikes along here and they're pretty camouflage you don't realize that they're there um, and you can make a, a thorny fence as I said the old settlers used to do to keep their cattle in um, this is just uh, you know that's just one bush right there and then you can intertwine them with other bushes so you can make yourself a, a nice little um, hedge a perimeter fence um, even a uh, so-called kill zone that you would have um, to keep people from uh, getting into your your house or where your front door is and um, you can have it so there's only one way in and one way out and the way out is uh, any other way out would be through these these uh, thorny thorny bushes, which uh, no one's getting out that way, or if they do, they're going to get ripped to shreds. Okay, uh, I'm going to take a, uh, a nice ripe tomato here, and I've got myself some uh, really good um, leather, uh, actually rose picking gloves, because um, these things are just so sharp, and I will show you how, uh, how sharp these things really are. Now you can imagine this could be somebody's flesh here um, with a tomato and I'm gonna just kinda show you how easily you're gonna get sliced to pieces if you try to get through this fence. So it really doesn't take much um, and uh, that's a pretty deep, pretty severe cuts just from these little thorns right there. One way to make uh, these this a better barrier is to take branches and essentially wrap them up in another branch and then wrap that in another branch. So ultimately what you're doing is you're creating a um, almost a woven structure that'll all grow together and when you do it'll make it a lot um, a lot stronger and a lot more impermeable to potential guests uh, to potential um, unwanted guests so here you can see I'm just kinda wrapping this all up together and making you know a nice little thatched area and that's what we did with all of this it just grows straight up and then from there you can uh, intertwine them and make yourself a, almost uh, a woven structure that will keep out unwanted pests and uh, both four-legged and two-legged in the secret garden of survival.